Uh, can you give us uh, a little bit of your experience in ICU on ventilated patient uh, when you reach the level that you're not able to oxygenate them, the role of PEEP, uh, what kind of vent mode we're using. Uh, we know like uh, the strategy should be a little bit different than what we use for regular ARDS patient. So how was your experience with those people in ICU? What did you do to be able to ventilate them in better way, to oxygenate them in a better way? in better way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the COVID-19 uh, treatment includes, I mean, the antivirus and respiratory support and the organ support in uh, for a severe and critically ill patients. The most controversial aspect is what we just discussed is about the antivirus. Uh, actually, the main uh, treatment in the ICU is respiratory report support and organ support. So um, uh, we uh, we tried uh, uh, oxygen therapy, includes a nasal cannula, oxygen mask, high flu high flu uh, nasal cannula, and uh, non-invasive ventilation, mechanical ventilation, and uh, ECMO. Um, so um, we will use uh, as um, Usually, usually step by step from nasal cannula, oxygen mask to high flow and uh, mechanical ventilation. Um, so the cannula and oxygen mask and high flow uh, is is pretty commonly used, and uh, uh, the most um, uh, controversial um, topic is about the time of uh, invasive mechanical ventilation. Um, Currently, uh, uh, in our early stages, many uh, doctors would uh, would use the non-invasive ventilation um, for pretty uh, uh, relatively long time to uh, avoid for invasive mechanical ventilation. But uh, after the experiences is uh, uh, is more, uh, we we they would suggest that we intubate the patients more um, early to prevent from the um, non-invasive ventilation induced lung injury. So mm -hmm. currently, uh, if you use uh, non-invasive ventilation for one or two hours, if you can, if you can see the um, respiratory rate is still high and um, all the patient uh, tidal volume is, is high, example, over uh, uh, 1,000 or uh, the the pulse oxygenation is uh, pretty low, so you can you have to um, change the patient to intubate uh, as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you so much, yeah. Dr. Chan. And uh, before we conclude today's dialogue, I just wonder, uh, the doctors from Chinese side, do you have anything to share or some something more to add? So if not, we'll okay. just... And, uh, yeah. And for yes. the mechanical ventilation, you know, for the um, for the uh, usually we use uh, two types of uh, uh, method. One is uh, some patients may be uh, used to uh, you know um, typical ARDS, so we usually use the prone position and um, uh, lung recruitment and um, um, you know and the the uh, lung protective ventilation uh, and uh, another another uh, type of patients whose uh, you know the the lung the lungs um, the lungs uh, the lungs is pretty different from those patients with typical ARDS. Um, so for these patients with early stages of uh, um, hypoxia, uh, the the main method is use um, uh, cannula and uh, high flow high flow 